Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld, co-moderator of the Cloud 2030 Community and Summit. Cloud 2030 is a collaborative series of events designed to create a shared cloud vision at a virtual summit while creating an ongoing community of operators who are building next generation infrastructures. Cloud 2030 is not just 100 times the centralized cloud we have today, but something that's even more integrated into our lives. It's a place where personal edge business and hyperscale are rebalanced based on new technologies, streamlined development techniques, and improved operational models. We are looking to bring in people who are focused on infrastructure, and we welcome a wide range of interested parties who are ready to balance between pragmatism to get stuff done and vision with strong opinions who want to have a, have a say in how we build things. Our mission is to give a voice to that community of infrastructure operators in a vendor neutral environment. Infrastructure is very broadly defined for us to range from personal to edge to enterprise and cloud. And by describing the future, we help shape it. And by doing that collectively as users and operators, we reclaim the authority for building from vendors into a shared space. Let's break down what that means. Our community objectives are to create a vendor neutral place where operators can collaborate and share knowledge. Building the future together means being able to collaborate in a safe and supportive environment. The 2030 vision should be a living coda. Together, we will build and evolve infrastructure into something that works for everyone. And in defining that coda as a shared vision statement, the 2030 environment creates that together. The outcomes from the summit are based on the community interactive sessions, online discussions, and events that are planned over the preceding three months before the summit. And we have some anti-objectives too. Cloud 2030 is neither the Cloud Rebel Alliance with a goal of death starring the hyperscalers, nor is it the Cloud Empire with a goal of alvaroning all the on-premise data centers. Cloud 2030 is also neither pro-vendor nor biased towards open source. We expect to welcome vendors and vendor solutions while objecting to marketing-driven engagement and platform fan clubs. To help you understand what we're trying to build, it's important to understand discussions that we want to have. Of course, the community is going to influence what topics we discuss and how we discuss them in the order. But I do want to explain where we see things going from the start because there are some common areas that we expect to dig into. And those include things like automation infrastructure as code and self-management so that you actually have ways to perform these operations automatically. Managing and remote and distributed infrastructure is a key part of that. It's really what the automation is allowing you to do. And that drives us into defining operational patterns, composability and reuse that allow us to actually take all that work that we're doing individually and make it a collective good. Part of that will include converging compute network and storage management so that we're not managing as much in silos where compute networking and storage are separate teams or separate tooling, but more unified. And that means systems thinking and taking heterogeneous infrastructure and integrating it together into a complete whole. These themes are ones that we expect to be very important in defining what Cloud 2030 is going to be and the discussions that we'll have leading up to it. Our schedule looks like this. Working backwards from the Cloud 2030 Summit, tentatively scheduled for November 12th, we will have weekly topic sessions. Those sessions aren't all defined yet, and all the speakers aren't known. We want to bring in the community and allow interactive sessions to result from new topics and new ideas being put together. And we won't be strictly limited to a specific time on a single day. If we have interactive discussions online, interactively in our social media areas, that is amazing. We want to be able to capture these and bring them forward into the summit. And then even after the summit, have an ongoing dialogue where we discuss these items, share and learn from each other. I hope you will join us because we want to hear from you. Cloud2030.mn.co will be the foundation for our, our engagement with each other, but there will be many other opportunities from LinkedIn and Twitter to uh, interactive sessions, uh, Facebook, wherever people feel like they need to engage we will be collecting that information and then sharing it as part of a community. One of the things about the Mighty Network uh, social network here is it allows us to also have topic areas and small groups within the larger, group, larger community, which is exactly what we need. 
to build an operational community for Cloud 2030. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing you.